In this video I'm going to show you how to get some extra benefit from using BetAngel um, on football stroke soccer markets and to do that we're going to use two functions from within BetAngel. One is the Excel spreadsheet capability and the other is Guardian and I'm going to demonstrate the benefits of using those together now. So to start up Guardian you go over here and you press G and you can see that this brings up um, a blank list of markets and what we need to do is to populate this with some football matches so you can do that a number of ways you can see on the selection screen you've got a, a variety of ways of selecting stuff but we also do have a soccer tab so if I click on that it brings that up you can search all matches that are available you can look for matches that contain a certain string so for example matches that are related to Liverpool or you can show matches that are supported by Soccer Mystic and add those in from there what we're going to do um, at the moment is just add all of those uh, matches together. So and I'm going to choose matches on the 13th. If you right click, let me show you that again, go into the market tree and you right click, you can see here you can select every single market within that set. You can select match odds, correct score, total goals, blah 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 and so on. So if I do select all match odds it will go through all of the fixtures on the 13th select all of the matches on that particular day and then bring it up. So you can see here it says 300 markets selected and if I do add that will add in 300 markets to BetAngel um, and into the Guardian area of BetAngel and you can see it starts populating that. The ball in the middle indicates that this is a market that it you can use on Soccer Mystic that you can point at Soccer Mystic. My suggestion to you is that whenever you're looking at any markets, obviously it makes sense to go for the markets where there's the most amount of volume. And you can see that some of these markets, um, I've never heard of some of these teams, um, have no volume. So, you know, these are going to be a liquid, pretty naff market. So if you go up to the top here, you can sort by volume. And what this will do is put the highest, as it populates the markets, it will um, put the highest volume leaders in that particular order. So that it cuts out a lot of experimentation. But also what you can do, if I just remove all of these markets for the moment, if we do show only the market supported by Soccer Mystic, Soccer Mystic is looking for certain characteristics, so it's looking for certain types of markets um, and depth of markets, <clears throat> and that will reduce the number of matches that um, qualify. So if, again if we go down and we look for the 13th there we are, 13th of August. If I right-click and do select match odds, you can see that's more than halved the total. So if we do add now, and we're sorting by volume, um, this will now populate and put the highest volume matches at the top of this list. We'll just give it a few seconds. I'll pause the presentation while it populates this list for us. So we now have a list of markets on the 13th um, sorted by volume. Instantly, the refresh interval, the rate at which Guardian updates each of these markets, is set at here. If you're not fussed about getting smack bang up to date information, you can always set this slower and reduce the number of calls you make to Betfair, or you can speed it up, up to you. Just thought I'd better point that out. Um, so, what we're going to do is focus on the first five or so matches. So, I'm going to cut off all of the remaining matches here and just look at the top list of matches. So, if I go and delete those from the markets. We've got five markets available to us here. Now if I double click on that it will go straight into that um, particular market. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Excel and do open workbook In fact, it would help if I actually browsed for the file, wouldn't it first? So browse for the file, open the workbook, and what you're looking to do is to open the workbook BetAngel Multiple. So I'll just uh, I'll just show you that again. BetAngel Multiple is the spreadsheet that you're looking for. And if we open that workbook, what will happen now is um, that workbook will be open, and you can see at the bottom of this sheet, if I just pull this up slightly, you can see BetAngel skimming across the bottom here and in order to populate that spreadsheet what I need to do is to link the Excel sheet to it but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on auto bind 
and you can see that it's linked all of those for me automatically. So the advantage that um, we've got is that each one of these sheets when we connect it will be automatically populated with that market. So if I click on connect we go back to that sheet then you can see in pops all of that data. So the advantage you've got now is if you say um, I'm going to back the draw and green up at half time you can do that now simultaneously across all of those matches that are going on because the spreadsheet here now has access to all of those matches and if it meets the criteria such as countdown timer equals 45 or countdown timer equals 50 to be safe then it can trigger that command so you can issue a command like if countdown equals your specified time period you'd have to type in the time period that you want um, then you can do green all. So it gives you the ability to look at many different matches simultaneously and BetEng will act on each of those and the way that it does that is because they're all linked into Excel and they're all linked into Guardian and the wonderful thing about this is if you now go off and trade horse racing all of the football stuff will still work in the background so you can actually simultaneously trade one market type while the spreadsheet and Guardian trades another it's uh, that simple and that you know effective it's a it's a great way of doing uh, more than one thing simultaneously um, but what you can also do is use it to perhaps select market criteria so if I go here and insert um, a worksheet in fact if I go down here and right click it's a bit easier then this brings up a blank sheet so why you know why would we want that well what we can do is we can say home at the top away and then we can put in um, home draw away oops a wet away and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press the equals sign on the keyboard skip over to the first bet angel sheet and you can see here that Newcastle um, is at B9 and the away team Arsenal is on B11 and I can go in here and say that's the price of home, that's the price of a draw, and that's the price of the away team. And then we can go down to the next one and say, okay, L Liverpool is on B9, Sunderland is on B11, and the price of a draw on that match, or the price of a win rather, is 155. And you can carry on doing this down each individual spreadsheet. So you just have a whole list of matches down here. And then you can start tidying them up, um, formatting them, making it look a little bit neater and so on. Now you're thinking, well, that's a lot of work, Peter. But once you've done this, when you go in to the markets uh, on a Monday or Tuesday, next Saturday, whenever you want to do it, and you populate them in Guardian and you auto bind them in the same way that we've done there, then this sheet will update automatically. There's no need to do this. You only need to do this once you define and create your top level sheet. And then all of this information will update automatically. So that would say to you, ah, oh, you know, if the home team is less than 1.6, then um, do this strategy. Um, else, nothing. And then if I copy and paste that down, then of course the advantage that you've got, obviously it's picking up stuff that isn't there, um, is it will auto select strategies for you based upon the pricing. So you could say I'm only going to back a team at 155 playing at home and where the draw price is over 8 or however you want to define it. And then this spreadsheet template is created for that and all that you need to do is go into the football market, uh, populate Guardian with the ones you want, auto buy in the spreadsheet, hey presto away you go. But also if you take this to the next level what you can actually do is get it, uh, you know, custom strategies. So you would go into each individual spreadsheet and you would say to it, at this time, do the following. Um, or set up a position now and ask the spreadsheet to exit it for you as the match is underway. And you can monitor all of that by using the same sort of thing here. Copy information across from individual sheets by using references. You can see here, uh, Bet Angel B9 equals the home team on this spreadsheet. And then not only can it tell you what strategies it thinks it should be doing, it can give you a running PL, it can give you 
um, an, an overall view of the market and automate all of those strategies for you. And that's important because obviously, unlike in horse racing, for example, um, a lot of football matches go off at the same time. So you can see we've got three matches here going off at the same time. And we've got Newcastle and Arsenal going off at 5.30. So by using Guardian and Excel, you can dramatically increase your productivity and the scale of what you do um, on Bet Angel. So uh, very useful tool. It's a tool I use all of the time. And when you see me post up ratings and so on, I've done it like this. I've copied information into the sheet. It's pulled down information that I need, and then I can copy and paste that and do whatever I like with it. So um, it's a, something that's of huge benefit to people that are active and trading on, on football.